an entire coastal city is emerging, adjacent to Victoria Island in Lagos, Nigeria. An impressive answer to the chronic real estate shortage in the world's fastest growing megacity. A unique opportunity for investors to capitalize on huge development growth, fueled by overwhelming demand. The new financial capital of Nigeria and a new gateway to the continent. This is Echo Atlantic, the making of a city. What began as an endeavor to protect the coastline of Victoria Island from sea erosion has today become a city building project on a global scale. It was two Lagos state governors, past and present, that took crucial action to turn back the clock on a century of coastal decay along the Lagos coastline. Today, an liability that threatens the entire Victoria land of Lagos has been arrested and is being converted to a great asset of prosperity. Echo Atlantic City is recognized as being of utmost importance for Nigeria's push towards becoming the leading economic force in Africa and the project has the full support of the country's authorities. I must confess that it's most satisfying feeling to be part of an idea and to see it move from conception to execution and now to implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eco Atlantic City. When completed, this Atlantic City will not only benefit the promoters of this project, but it will be an important addition to our nation's drive to promote tourism and good living. The project is a great example of partnership where it brings private individuals and companies who have the knowledge and requisite expertise to transform land lost to erosion into a delightful ocean city. New cities are good. New cities are smart. New cities help to improve our thinking and our lives. It is in this regard that the federal government has given its full support to the construction of the Echo Atlantic City. This privately funded development started in 2006 when developers and city planners, South Energex Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary of the Lagos-based Shiguri group of companies, was granted approval to act as the sole authority over the city's planning and growth. The developers' sights are firmly set on the 2020 vision of Echo Atlantic becoming the new economic hub of Nigeria and gateway to Africa. Echo Atlantic is now a vast mass of land covering more than 5 million square meters, or about half the final footprint of the emerging city. A landmass that can be seen clearly from space. The centralized sewage, water and electrical services are the first of their kind in Lagos and are being built to world-class standards. Across Echo Atlantic, all electricity and telecommunications, as well as other utility services, are being installed below street level, a first for Nigeria. Road and infrastructure works are in progress, with over 26 kilometers completed to stone base level. A further 28 kilometers of underground stormwater drainage is now in place. Work on the canals, bridges and other major infrastructure services are also underway, while construction of the first buildings in the Harbour Lights District has already commenced. And surrounding it all, the Great Wall of Lagos, the mighty eight and a half kilometers long sea defense revetment, the backbone of this entire project. We are on land that has been reclaimed as an asset of prosperity. This land is protected by a massive wall that can withstand the worst storms and weather conditions that may occur in a thousand years. This wall, we call it the Great Wall of Lagos. This wall protects both Echo Atlantic and Victoria Island. When completed, Echo Atlantic will cover approximately 10 million square meters of land. Self-sufficient and sustainable, Echo Atlantic will be a true city of the future with state-of-the-art urban design, its own power, clean water, 
sewage network, advanced telecommunications and spacious roads. The planting of 150,000 trees, which began in a dedicated nursery in 2010, is indicative both of the detailed long-term planning and environmental awareness a project of this magnitude requires. They have reclaimed 5 million square meters of land from the sea. They have built the beginnings of this amazing wall, an ingenious engineering feat. This is something I'm telling you, there will be countless numbers of people coming here to study. Echo Atlantic's 10 distinctive districts showcase the finest designs in urban development. From the sweeping harbour lights and scenic ocean promenade to the 1 million square metres of the Marina District, which will be the centre for leisure activities and is set to become a major attraction for tourism. In the heart of this iconic city rises the new financial hub of Lagos, of Nigeria and soon of Africa itself, the Echo Atlantic Business District. 700,000 square meters of prime real estate where international business will get done. From stunning waterfront apartments and a magnificent shopping mall to a world-class international school and hospital, Echo Atlantic is built to succeed on every level. Although it is not finished, it is already a success story. The road that was lost to the sea is back and is now motorable. The buildings that were deserted are now occupied. Property values have been restored and multiplied. And more buildings are springing up in anticipation of the opportunities that lie ahead. With the development of Echo Atlantic's first residential and commercial estates underway, local and international property investment is already shaping the progress of this unique city and revealing its potential. As Lagos continues its unstoppable trajectory towards becoming a new financial center of Africa, Echo Atlantic opens unprecedented opportunities for tapping into the wider potential of the continent as a whole widely recognized as the foremost global investment horizon of today. Brent Sadler, Echo Atlantic, Lagos, Nigeria.